Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the IS60 low profile CPU cooler. Now when building a small form factor PC, one of the major challenges is cooling. That's where the IS60 comes in. At just 55 millimeters, it's one of the lowest profile coolers that you can get. But is it any good? Let's find out. So we're gonna unbox it. The footage was filmed a while ago, so I look a little different. Big IS60 low profile cooler on the front. Uh, look around here, there's just a picture, nothing much here. Uh, this is just some specs, overall dimension weight. Uh, oh, look at this. TDP 130 watts, which is really high for a cooler of this size. This is only 55 uh, millimeters tall. Marketing stuff here, heat pipe, 120 uh, millimeters. Universal mounting, PWM, silent uh, operation, easy installation, some social media icons. Uh, nothing really on the back here, it just says uh, made in China. Let's cut it open. Ooh, let's cut that open. That's all nice and good. So the seal is broken now, guys. Uh, let's spin this around. All right, so what do you get? Immediately you're greeted by user guide, ID cooling, get cooling. Um, right, so then, oh, seems like it's all the, all the bits, the fastening bits. Then you've got the, uh, you got the, okay, you've got the actual cooler here. Take this off, take it out. And uh, there's the cooler, guys. And then uh, nothing much, just, uh, you know, you've got your, little gel thing. Right, so let's see what's in this packet, this uh, all right, uh, or doggy bag, whatever it is. All right, so let's open this. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's what you get in here. Mountain bracket, screws, washers. Uh, you've got your thermal paste here, ID cooling thermal paste. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's uh, pretty standard. What do you expect in a heat sink anyway? The ID Cooling IS60 low profile cooler comes in at just 55 millimeters, but boasts an incredible 130 watt TDP. It features six copper heat pipes and a copper base, all of which are nickel plated. Its high density fins are made of aluminium and the IS60 supports both Intel and AMD sockets. Powered by a single 120mm fan, freighted at 53.6 CFM and 1.36mm of static pressure. The general build quality is good, not quite German level engineering, but solid. There are some rough edges on the fins and machining marks on the heat plate, but at this price point, it's expected. Okay, we've seen what's inside the box, now let's see how it performs. We're gonna pit it against the Rave Prism stock cooler. It's pretty much, pretty much for all intents and purposes, half the height. This is not labeled. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna assume that's Intel. That's the, it's the only one left, that's gonna, be, that's gonna be Intel. Detach AMD retention bracket. Oh, okay, cool. So put your crosshead screwdriver ready. So that's off there. Um, so these are kind of facing out. So the, uh, the AM, the AM4 is pointing towards the actual machine block there. Okay, I think you don't, I think you don't need this plate. X style. But uh, yeah, so um, basically the uh, IS60 has a very, very poor RAM clearance. So even the LPXs, which are actually a few millimeters under the uh, stated height, 34 millimeters. These are actually, I think 33 or 30, 31 maybe. This is the Rave Prism running Prime 95 in blend. I didn't do small FFTs because it's a very unrealistic workload that produces way more heat than most real life situations. If you did run it, expect temperatures to be around 10 degrees higher. After about 10 minutes, it hovered around 72 degrees. All right, so that's in now. Uh, first off the bat, it's very quiet. I, can, I can't even hear it. I have to put my ear right next, look. Look how close I'm going. It's, you really can't hear it. This is the same test on the IS60, and we can see the temperature is slightly higher at between 72 and 73 degrees. The IS60 matching the performance of a cooler double the size, cooling a 12-core CPU at very low noise levels, all the while being extremely affordable, I think some credit is due here. Okay, so what did we learn? It performs very well actually. It's about the same as the Rave Prism, which is really, really good considering the Rave Prism is like double the height. It performs really good, it's cheap, and it's quiet. So that's basically everything you want. Highly recommended guys. If you're thinking about getting this cooler, I'd say do it. Um, only problem is in most countries, you're gonna have to import it. Be careful when you're buying it though, guys. A lot of people are marking this up to double the price. So it's not really worth it at that price point. But at the correct price point, which is about 30 pounds or about $40, this is highly worth it. So if you need a cooler under 60 millimeters, this one's a fantastic choice. So guys, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Leave a comment guys.